Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Game Over Entertainment and today on The Walking Dead Wednesdays. We're actually going to be talking about another ending uh, that is in place for season two, episode five. If Telltale is to continue this story on from where we left off, then they're gonna to have to continue off with these endings that they gave us. Now, this video specifically is about the Clementine Alone ending, which is the one where she is by herself with AJ, and she's heading toward a field of walkers using the technique that she learned from Lee and uh, Jane to uh, cover herself with walker blood and actually walk among the herd. Now, where could Tim Clementine possibly be going right here? That is the big question. And uh, so a couple things off the back that I want to say is that this is my opinion, speculation, assumption, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it's not ingrained in stone. And I don't know if Telltale's even going to pick up from this or if they're going to like start off with a whole different storyline. I don't really know. And uh, I do want to say that I do think she's heading in a southern direction due to the change of climate from where we were going. Seeing that Wellington and we were already in a snowy environment, we actually headed to the opposite direction of that and we're in the field of fresh green grass. So I'm thinking the winter season is in less effect wherever we are headed. Okay, so I'm gonna get kind of literal right here. So an average person walking at a steady pace on a flat, unhindered terrain is about three miles, three to five miles per hour, okay? Now, counting to the fact that there are obstacles in the way and that there is a, a baby in Clementine's hand, I'm gonna say three miles per hour. Now, uh, there are gonna be some breaks in between. Of course, you need to rest. Of course, you need to watch out for the nighttime, which is way more dangerous. And then the baby starts crying in certain situations, which can also get her into trouble. So she needs to take cover during those times as well and console the baby. So considering that, I'm gonna say Clementine gets maybe a maximum of 12 hours of good walking time. So 12 hours at three miles per hour means she can travel 36 miles in one day. Okay, so 36 miles times nine days. That's how long it took for them to get to Wellington. So taking a closer look at my makeshift map, here's Michigan and here's possibly where Wellington could be around Michigan, okay? And then uh, here's the rest stop. Since we never headed north, we headed south in the opposite direction of Wellington because it's getting to a warmer climate. Uh, she could end up in these possible states, uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. So a lot of states in the Southeast uh, United States area. Now guys, that is a stretch. I'm surprised Clementine actually made it nine days with the baby. She's still young, man. She doesn't know much about caring for a child or have had any experience with being around a baby. Now, we don't know about that unknown time she had with Krista and what happened with Krista's childbirth and everything else. Maybe that's where Clementine got the know-how of how to take care of a baby and you know what to do with a baby. But thinking back to when Clementine first held AJ for the first time, it seemed like a new experience to her. So just based off of that, what happened right there, I'm assuming that Krista baby, she never really got any one-on-one -on -one time with the baby of Krista and she may not have been born or miscarriage or something, but that's for another video. Back to this topic. Now that's a very literal approach of where Clementine may not be and bringing those kind of numbers and mileage into a fantasy environment, it's just not, it's not okay. It's not a good idea. So let's look at Clementine's frame of mind. What could she possibly be thinking? Okay, now of course her influence in the past has been Kenny, um, a very big influence by Lee Everett uh, and Krista. I'm gonna say those are her primary influences that uh, made Clementine the person who she is right now. You know, Lee, she's he spent she spent about six months with Lee. I'm gonna say about four to six months maximum. Okay, before Lee passed away. But the biggest influence I'm gonna have to say would be Krista, seeing that Krista spent. 16 months during that time skip with uh with uh with clementine her her ideas would have become clementine's ideas over time you know her talking the way she is and uh her being a, another woman that uh clementine could actually look up to you know as a future clementine herself then i would say chris chris would have the most influence and what did chris say now she also talked about wellington briefly when we saw, saw her but i do think that was a uh, that's kind of a new idea, not something that she's been talking about for a long time. Uh, and what Krista has been saying in the past, she said she likes to travel to the countryside. It's like she wanted to stay out of cities. She wanted to go to the countryside. She was through with cities. That's what she said. 
So I think that may be Clementine's frame of mind right here, that she's heading somewhere in the countryside and the states I mentioned that she can end up at have a lot of countryside areas. So, I mean, Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Georgia, definitely a lot of country areas. So that would go along with that. Or maybe Clementine's just a little homesick. She's headed back to her parents' house, back where it all began, where she met Lee for the first time. She's gonna show AJ her treehouse. They're gonna be having tea parties. It's gonna be awesome, right? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but guys, uh, that is just a complete, complete speculation, man. Just me guessing, rambling right here. Let me know what your thoughts are about where Clementine could possibly be going and what is she thinking in her mind because I don't, I don't know how this can turn out good. Clementine with just AJ by herself, it looks like a very grim situation. And uh, if the baby gets sick, it's, it's a wrap. And being all this infection and, and zombies around them, um, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look very good, man. But and also, should she try to stay with the baby as far as like just her and the baby, or should she actively try to locate a group? There's strength in numbers, but there's also a danger with other survivors the most dangerous people are survivors not the not the actual walkers the walkers are predictable they're a known entity he, people are not you don't know what they're thinking or what their hidden motives could be so uh in my mind she has to join a group she just can't do this by herself and uh hopefully my heart is still open and willing to join groups all right so people uh share your thoughts below what do you think clementine is up to in this alone ending and um uh yeah just share your thoughts man so i wanted to make a cinematic video this week but with all the let's plays i've been doing i'm actually worn out from editing so uh i'm gonna have to say that for next week so people i appreciate it if you drop me a like go ahead and share this video and drop a comment below and thank you again for watching another episode of the walking dead wednesdays